twisted GP has admitted to trying to kill his mum's lover with a poison injection after posing as a COVID nurse. Dr Thomas Kwan, 53, wore a bizarre fake beard and a hairpiece as part of an audacious plan to murder Patrick O'Hara. The GP wants to inherit mum Jenny Leung's estate, but the pair had fallen out over her plans to leave her home to Patrick instead. Patrick, 71, was lucky to survive after the toxin caused a rare and life-threatening flesh-eating disease. Kwan denied attempted murder, but today dramatically changed his plea on the second day of his trial. He previously admitted to injecting Patrick with a poison, but claimed he meant to inflict no more than mild pain and discomfort. Prosecutor Mr Peter Makepeace KC said it was an extraordinary case and told jurors sometimes the truth really is stranger than fiction. Newcastle Crown Court heard Kwan had been collecting dangerous chemicals including liquid mercury, sulfuric acid and arsenic in the build-up to the horror. He also had prepared letters with chilling authenticity from a made-up NHS department called the Community Associated Nursing Team. His stepdad fell for the letter hook, line and sinker, the court was told. On January 22nd this year, Kwan left his home in Inglebury, Barwick, Teesside in his Toyota Yaris, fitted with false plates. He was then spotted on CCTV, checking into a Premier Inn in Newcastle under a false name as the murder plot got underway. Footage showed him leaving a few hours later in the hotel in a disguise including a long coat, surgical gloves and a face mask. The court was told he travelled up to Patrick's home and said he was from the NHS using a broken English accent. He then told the pensioner he was going to give him a COVID booster injection. His plan was so successful, even Kwan's mum was oblivious to the fact the so-called nurse was her son. Prosecutor Peter Makepeace KC said immediately Mr O'Hara felt a terrible pain and jumped back. He shouted bloody hell and explained the immediate and intense pain, but the nurse reassured him. From that piece forward, the nurse began to noticeably speed up his departure, packing up his equipment and leaving the premises in something of a rush. As he left the home, Mrs Leung came downstairs again and commented that the nurse had been the same height as her son. Upon that comment, and for the first time, Mr O'Hara began to suspect something was very wrong. He went out into the street to see if he could catch the nurse up and get some reassurance. He was too late out into the street and could find no trace of the nurse. He returned home to find the pain in his arm increasing. Doctors discovered he was suffering from a necrotizing fasciitis a rare, life-threatening, flesh-eating disease. Patrick needed multiple surgeries to remove a very considerable portion of his arm. Kwan was arrested two weeks later and cops uncovered the full extent of his murder plot. Officers also found castor oil beans in his garage and a recipe for manufacturing ricin from the beans. An MOD chemical weapons expert was brought in but unable to establish exactly what poison was injected into the victim. Kwan, who has an encyclopedic knowledge of poisons, had grown obsessed with money and inheritance before hatching the sinister plan.